Blown tire causes a chain reaction crash in Brooklyn, killing a young man. CBS 2's Natalie Dodger live in Williamsburg with more on the story. Natalie. Well, Mary, a 26 year old was driving just blocks from his listed home address when out of nowhere a car smashed into his, slamming it into this tree. And some neighbors tried to rush over to help, but they couldn't save him. Look closely as two vehicles, a minivan and an SUV traveling eastbound on Grand Street near Manhattan Avenue, suddenly get hit by a BMW coming towards them westbound. Investigators say the BMW blew its rear right tire, causing the driver to lose control and smash into the two oncoming vehicles. I heard a um, loud boom, thought it was gunshot, but it wasn't. And, um... I looked out the window, I saw a car wrapped around that tree there. Chopper 2 shows the wreckage. You can see where the minivan careened into a tree, killing the 26-year-old driver, who police identified as Alexander Uloa Toribio from Brooklyn. Before firefighters showed up to extricate the man, witnesses tried to get him out. Somebody came out with a bat while they were on the phone with the police, tried to break the window, but they couldn't, so I grabbed the bat and broke the both, both windows, and we thought there was nobody in it because the airbags were out, so we didn't see nobody. But when we moved the airbags, he was right there. The 26 year old was taken to Woodhull Hospital where he was pronounced dead. Witnesses say they were still on the scene hours later when the family arrived distraught. My heart and prayers go out to each and every single family member. The 30 year old driver of the BMW and his 30 year old passenger were taken to Bellevue Hospital with non life threatening injuries. A 34 year old driver of the third vehicle was not seriously hurt. Now, this crash happened at the very spot where a memorial still stands for a cyclist who was killed several years ago. As for this case, police say so far no charges have been filed and the investigation continues. We're live in Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Natalie Dudridge, CBS 2 News. Natalie, thank you.